Hello everyone, and welcome to our tutorial on an intro to Pi game. My name is Nimish, and I'm going to be guiding you through this course in which we're going to be learning about the Python language and using it to build a cross the road type game in Pi game. So this is actually a demonstration of the game that we'll be building. As you can see, we have our player character at the bottom, we have an enemy moving back and forth, and we're trying to reach the treasure up here. So it's pretty simple. You just walk forwards or backwards to try to avoid the enemy. And as you reach the end, we win, and then it starts again a little faster this time. Okay, so the objective is obviously to try to not get hit by the enemy uh, that is crossing left and right, and to try to reach the treasure safely. So as we progress, we add more and more enemies, things get a little faster, and a little more difficult and interesting. Now, unfortunately, we can't launch right into the game development itself. We're going to have to learn a little bit about the Python language first. So we'll start by installing Python and Pygame, and we'll just set them up. The environment we'll be working in is called Idle, which actually comes free when you download Python. It is important to note that everything is free here. Python is free to download, and Pygame is just a library that exists within Python. Pretty easy to download and install, and I'll guide you through that process. After this, we're going to learn about some Python language basics, as it's very important to understand how the language works that we'll be using. So we're going to cover five major topics. We'll talk about variables and operations. Then we'll talk about collections, such as arrays, tuples, dictionaries, stuff like that. Then we'll talk about control flow, so if statements, uh, while and for loops is going to be fundamental for our game development. Then we'll get into the topic of functions, and finally classes and objects, as one of our main course goals is to make our game object oriented. After this, we'll learn about the actual Pygame development concepts. We can talk about how to pull up screens, how to actually render objects onto screens, the notion of the big game loop that is going to run and check everything, introduce concepts such as movement and collision detection, and finally we'll end up building our cross the road type game in Pygame. So the end result is going to be very, very similar to that demonstration that you just saw. So before we get started, just want to say a big thank you so much for signing up for this course. I really, really enjoyed making it for you guys, and I hope you enjoy taking it just as much. Even if you don't enjoy it, I hope at the very least that you get to learn something out of it. And I'm very excited to see what you'll go on to develop with your newfound Pi game skills after this course. Okay, so let's get started by downloading and installing Python and Pi game.